Right, so this is the last part of the lecture on Alport's theory on personality uh, theory. So, um, Alport was previous, previously mentioned the idea of healthy adult personality, and he uh, further uh, mentioned uh, six criteria what makes uh, someone possess healthy personality. So, the first uh, indication that someone has a mature a uh, healthy personality is that those people would have uh, would could have uh, could extend their sense of self to people and activities beyond themselves. So it means that uh, people who has healthy personality they would have a good orientation towards other people. So they would be more sensitive to others' people needs, and they are more willing to um, to fulfill uh, others' needs rather than their own needs. And the second criteria is that uh, mature adults often uh, relate warmly to other people, and they often have, uh, they often show more intimacy, compassion, and tolerance when they relate to other people. Which means that uh, people who have healthy personality, they they don't experience any difficulties in having warm, compassionate relationship with other people. And the third uh, criteria is that uh, people who has uh, this healthy uh, personality would have higher degree of self-acceptance, and so that they would be more uh, easier. They would be easier to achieve emotional security. So they would be more comfortable being uh, the true self, being true for or, or for themselves, and they are not being insecure, which means that they uh, would accept themselves. Uh, of what uh, they are without uh, having any hesitation that uh, that makes them being insecure the next criteria of uh, of of healthy personality is that uh, those mature adults would have a realistic perception of their own life which means that they could objectively uh, assess their own strengths and weaknesses and they could develop personal skills and they could make a commitment to one particular type of work, uh, which means that people who has healthy personality they would dedicate themselves to uh, to be more competent, to be competent in one particular type of work. So they don't confuse, they don't they don't get confused of pursuing a long term career or commitment to one particular field. And the next uh, criteria is that uh, mature adults often have sense of humor and they could have uh, healthy self-objectification, which means that they would uh, be able to reflect uh, uh, on their own self and they could have a healthy self-criticism and they could have, uh, uh, they could develop insight uh, how to be a better uh, version of themselves. And the last criteria of having healthy personality is that uh, those people could have a unifying philosophy of life, which means they would adhere to one specific particular uh, philosophy of life. It doesn't necessarily uh, has to be uh, religious uh, values. It could be one type particular value that they would strongly believe in, and they would uh, use that to pursue their long-term future life, uh, long-term goals in their future lives. And also, uh, apart from explaining the aspects of human personality, Alport also uh, distinguished two types of behavior that often manifest, uh, that often reflects the traits of our personality. So the first types of behavior that often relates to our traits is that the expressive one, which means it's more autonomous, more uh, spontaneous, and it reflects the very basic aspects of our personality. And it's because uh, it happens as a more as a response to a more uh, simple stimuli. Uh, and it would also reflect the very basic um, traits of our personality. And it's very different from the coping behavior that I would explain later. Uh, expressive behavior is quite difficult to change, and it has no specific purpose. It's just a response towards a stimuli, and often displayed without our awareness. It just happens uh, spontaneously. 
And this kind of uh, one example of an expressive behavior, for example, uh, if uh, someone insults you, a stranger insults you in public, then your response to that insult would be an expressive would be a an expressive behavior. Whether you choose to to give them an insult as a reply, or whether you choose not to respond to that insult, or whether you choose to give them a punch on their face, that would be a reflection of your traits. Yeah. And uh, next uh, types of behavior that also reflects our trait is that the coping behavior. So unlike the expressive behavior that is ten that tends to be more uh, spontaneous, more automatic, more autonomous, and this coping behavior is more carefully planned, and it has specific purposes. So you strategically. Uh, perform this behavior in order to gain uh, specific uh, uh, specific goals that you that you want to achieve and this is something that you consciously planned and you carry it out according to this plan and it is determined by the need of the situation and it is directed to to bring about change in your behavior so uh, these uh, types of behavior is strategically uh, is strategically aimed to uh, to uh, obtain change in the behavior. Right. So the next, uh, the last part of this lecture is that the personality assessment. So as you have learned from the previous theory, is that the 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 um, main aim of formulating personality theory is not just only explaining and understanding a human personality, but also uh, carefully uh, carefully uh carefully propose the way to evaluate or assess uh, one's personality so that it could be more understandable so uh, alport uh, specifically he mentioned that uh, personality human personality is very very complex so that evaluating this person this complex personality we have to employ of various types of techniques so it's impossible to it's impossible to only rely on one technique to understand and evaluate those uh, complexity and he even listed 11 methods yeah, 11 methods that ranging from objective tests to projective tests so uh, there are there is a, a stark uh, differences between projective and objective tasks uh, in projective tasks psychologists often use uh, ambiguous stimuli so they don't use a very specific and clear stimuli. They often use a very ambiguous uh, so that people could interpret one exact stimuli with very with various interpretation. And this method is very popular in clinical psychology, but often the validity and also the reliability of such tests would be extremely questionable. And even using those 11 uh, methods at the same time would be very impractical so that uh, no one actually use uh, many many methods at the same time to measure personality um, in the current times uh, research psychologists often use uh, self reports uh, to measure and evaluate uh, one's personality so it's much more simpler and much more robust uh, nowadays and uh, even though he listed uh, lots of methods to evaluate uh, one's personality, he specifically uh, relied on one particular method that he truly believed that it could uh, convey human personality accurately. That he, and he mentioned that technique as the personal document technique. And that is a technique that, uh, that analyzes one's diaries, autobiographies letters that one sent to one and uh, to to their friends literary composition or even written or uh, written or spoken records of this person which often cause a lot of problems as well because even though you could uh, sense the um the uh, the the impression of these this person personality often your interpretation would not be exactly same as other people interpretation so the depiction of one's personality it truly
depends on the, the interpretation of the of the person who analyzes those records. So that sometimes this technique is not uh, commonly used in psychology because of its uh, highly higher of its because its higher degree of unreliability because uh, different people who analyze the same records they would come with completely different uh, results yeah so it would be very problematic so that would be the last part of this lecture thank you very much for um, for uh, taking your time to watch this video I hope that you find this videos helpful so if you have any questions please do not hesitate to uh, to drop me an email or just you can ask me anonymously through the spreadsheet so thank you very much i hope you are very uh, have a very good day thank you